program. Now it uh, hasn't happened anything like that for a long time. Now arming the sound suppression water system. Well, the weather looks good. So they have, by now they've done all the weather checks, so it must be a go from everybody. One minute. One minute. Closing the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves. Mm -hmm. Even if you see no many times, it's always a very computers. exciting event. I don't think everybody, anybody can be close maybe for from a launch like this and not be somehow uh, emotional. No, in minus people 31 up there seconds and the handoff has occurred. Your friends. So now it's down bye bye. in the automatic sequence area. When it's six seconds left, seven, six seconds. Firing chain is armed. Main engine is pressure water system. And only when they have kind of spun up properly to 100 percent. Go for main engine start. These will have a, Eight, seven, the, the boosters six, will get to go. Four, three, two, zero, and lift off go. for the final launch of Endeavour. Expanding on the top. This is a Hello picture from the external tank looking at the belly of the shuttle. Never begins. He heads down Here's the belly of the shuttle. It's 31 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. So these two first minutes when the bo external boosters are burning uh, is the most shaky, both physically and psychologically uh, uh, of the whole launch. Something happens then, it's not much you can do actually. And uh, three engines now. So only after one and a half minutes, Dever, it seems possible uh, to fly through the manually. area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Can't do anything for that. Uh, Approaching one minute into the flight. And now it's gone through the. Endeavor, so go at throttle up. That means that. At uh, after li a little less than one minute, the air Endeavor's pressure three, built up uh, so much that it throttle back a little bit. But then the air gets three thinner again, good shape. and it can throttle back Endeavor's up to already, maximum. Uh, That's called traveling. a buckling. That's we just put out to that now. miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center now, 12 miles. So all at 12 miles downrange. And uh, when you come, soon we will see how that this off, uh, Endeavor kind of burns fueled, out. Uh, Separates from the external weight tank. four and a half million pounds. It's already lost yeah. half that weight in propellant now burned that weight Next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, Two minute three second point those boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of fuel per second it's a lot of, uh So now it looks yeah, standing like they are uh, by for Separation of the no. solid rocket boosters. So you can see them falling off, and they actually f fall down in the in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> the onboard guidance system has done its job. Of now it's much any it's nicer ride for them. Separation. Pretty. Uh, the, uh, Orbiter is now traveling 3,200 no miles per anymore. hour, downrange 50 miles, slowly altitude 37 miles, all systems and in good shape, builds up. three good uh, hydraulic systems, auxiliary power units and fuel cells, okay, the fuel cells providing fine, electrical so. power to all of the systems. Okay, again, external tank and the belly. Endeavor can reach uh, a tau site in the this event of a single engine failure, however, all three are in good shape. After the Space Shuttle Endeavor sailing into fair winds on its final historic voyage. On the, on the this view tank. looking down the external fuel tank, uh, the orbiter it's there on the top, off. as uh, Endeavor continues to power yeah. its way into orbit, area traveling 4,000 miles per hour downrange, 90 miles, altitude 50 miles. The boosters, minutes, by the way, they 15 get fall into Atlantic and get picked up by ships and are normally reused, well, but now, of course, there's only one more shuttle flight, so it won't be reused anymore. But uh, the, the only thing which is not reused at all in shuttle is this external tank, which gets uh, kind of detached 
once the engine stops a few seconds after, and then, then eventually falls down over the Indian Ocean and, and burns All up. All three main engines still uh, looking in, uh, in good shape, hydraulic systems so and electrical systems. What ha happens the now orbiter. for the next uh, three, four minutes until they uh, reach its orbit is that the ground will tell them things Endeavor. like... negative return. Negative return, which means that Rocker, until now, if that had been a problem, the shuttle can Endeavor turn can around no in there return to the Kennedy Space and kind of Center in the slow its speed forward now, and all three come back again to shape, Florida. As are all of the other systems uh, that's aboard one the orbiter, many, uh, quiet uh, uh, abort possibilities. So there's an enormous amount of training which goes into these eight and a half minutes of the flight, the launch. And normally, there's a joke among shuttle pilot, uh, shuttle crews that uh, 10 minutes into the flight you wasted half of your training. Or of course not really. Need Environmental to. and control uh, systems officer here reporting a good flash evaporator system providing uh, cooling to all of the avionics equipment aboard the vehicle. Traveling into space on the forward flight deck is Commander Mark Kelly and pilot Greg well, Johnson. Well, Between and behind the them is flight engineer here. Roberto Vittori. And rounding out the flight deck crew is Mike Fink. So press to ATO. Endeavor can reach orbit on two engines. Should one fail at this point, however, all three are still uh, performing as planned. Down on the mid-deck of Endeavor, Drew Foistel and Greg Chamatov. Foistel headed to the International Space Station for the first time. Vittori and Fink making so their first no voyage on the space board. shuttle. Everybody in the crew has been to space before. Uh, you will see, soon see how this start to spin around. Uh, they are kind of upside down now. You see the, the orbiters towards the Earth, but uh, halfway up in speed. So that it will roll around and put the. Here it comes. Uh, how it's spinning around. Because when you let go of the external tank, you won't have that blow. Endeavor, so press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza 104. So single engine Zaragoza, that means that if there will only have one engine, if they will lose two engines, they can use the remaining engine, which will bring you over Atlantic and land in uh, one of the emergency landing bases, which are uh, often used. Zaragoza in Spain is one of the most common ones. This has never been had to be used, but there's always a possibility of every launch to have a possibility to, to land in uh, Spain or somewhere on the European side of the Atlantic. So ground is telling uh, the commander some uh, instruction on what he should do after they get into orbit. Now they can go all the way up to orbit, even if they only have one engine left. Endeavour can reach orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three are still in good shape. The three main engines are uh, flowing fuel through. By now they start to feel pretty heavy on board. Uh, should be uh, about three Gs. And uh, you get sitting in three G for a minute, you get pushed down quite uh, substantially. I mean, it's not impossible to do things, but if you lift your arm, you definitely feel heavy. Yeah, so it's 3G is the maximum which the shuttle goes to because it's not designed to take more. So when it gets there, it actually throttles down to make sure it doesn't go above 3G. So it should be pretty close to Miko now. Engines at 82% uh, of rated thrust. Eight minutes into the flight, the next uh, so activity is 82% uh, engine of engine cutoff. thrust. That's now expected to be commanded at 21 seconds. So once you get the Miko, the main engine cut off, then you will. You, the crew feels it like they really get thrown forward in, in their seats. And then they can quickly unbuckle and float out. And, and main engine cutoff has been confirmed. So they have main engine cutoff. 
Here you can see the pitch is talked about. Now this will. Flight Dynamics reporting a nominal main engine cutoff. Very soon will be the connection here and the tank will go away. Uh -oh. Of course, it looks like the shuttle and goes separation away. Separation from the external tank. So now they're safely in orbit. Now it's time to approach. <laughs> Thank you.